everyone and thank you for joining me again. So today we're going to make a nice and easy card. This is actually a challenge card that we've got over on our Facebook group and I'll put a link below. So I've started off with a 5 by 7 inch card and I'm just showing you here that I've cut it down to a standard A6 size which is the size that I use pretty much for all of them. So the strips that I've used, that I've cut off I'm actually going to use as part of the decoration. So I'm starting off with a relatively plain um, piece of patterned paper so it's nice and subtle to go in the background. I'm not actually going to stick it to the card just yet because I'm going to do um, all of my I guess embellishments on this piece of um, patterned paper. It's a nice thick piece of patterned paper so it works quite well. So here you can see how I'm going to be using the strips that I've cut off and then I'm going to be mounting this oval piece on top of it so yeah that looks pretty good to me so I'll start to stick it into place now you could measure these out to make them nice and even I pretty much just eyeballed it just grab some of the um, smart art glue and stick it on the back I always it's always an overkill you really don't need that much glue all right so I'm just going to position that at the top and hold it down for a second to glue so I then did the one at the bottom, I kind of gauged it, you know how far it was, the, the same distance from the bottom as it was from the top, and then I just put this last strip in the middle. So the strips aren't actually the same width, the one at the top and the bottom are slightly wider than the one in the middle, not that you can tell. So I'm just going to turn this over and we're going to cut it, trim it off so it's all nice and even. Okay, so what I've done here is I've cut some frames. So I use the ovals and I, I think I'll pull them out now, pretty sure, yeah, okay, there we are. So I used a couple of the ovals, it's the smallest one is cuts the piece of uh, shiny silver cardstock that goes in the middle, the mirrored cardstock, there you go, see a nice reflection of me in that. And then I used two of them that I put an even distance apart and stuck them together and used it to cut out my frame. So I used a nice uh, rose gold that matches my card pretty much for the outer frame. Then I just put it in a uh, embossing folder and ran it through my, my machine, my cover bag, to give it that nice sort of gilded look. You can see that it fits in that frame nicely. So then while I still had my frame together, I cut that black craft foam out. So it doesn't have to be black craft foam, but I just chose black craft foam because my background was going to be black, the black oval that I was putting it on. So you can see then that I chose the neck size up to cut out my black oval, the base piece. So now it's just a matter of gluing it all together. I love the look that that oval, when you put it through an embossing frame, um, that top oval that I'm putting the glue on now gives it that beautiful old-fashioned gilded sort of well it's not gilded but you know that really highly decorated pattern look that mirrors had around the outside or picture frame so it gives it that type of look because what we're doing is we're actually making like a pretend mirror so the challenge that you can see I'm sticking this together the challenge that we've got over on the um, Facebook page this is for April 2021 was a um, sketch so I popped up a card sketch and this was just one of my interpretations of it to place up as an example so you can see that I've just stuck the craft foam to uh, the back of that thin frame and now I've just put it under something heavy that's just my phone and it's going to go around the outside of the black there and that um, mirrored piece is going to go in the middle so we'll just wait for it to stick before well while that's sticking I can work on my sentiment strips so I actually typed up the sentiment strips on my computer and printed them out with the reverse print you can see there and it actually says mirror mirror on the wall and then underneath the mirror it'll say this is the best mum of them all so to make sure that uh, you know just finishing off the finishing little touches so it looks really nice and neat I'm just running um, that's a sharpie along the edges now I do that from the back so if I slip it just slips on the back and no one is any the wiser all right this is all nice and set now and you can see that the frame that the 
other oval, the black oval I cut is larger, just a tiny bit, so it gives a tiny little black edge, <coughs> excuse me, around this uh, embossed frame that we've got. Once again, just using some of the Smart Art glue directly on the foam, and you get to see my head again. Woohoo! Right, so that's now nicely positioned and it's nice and even. And then I'm going to pop the mirror in the center. This is from the shiny silver cardstock. Nice and easy to do. And just push that in the middle. Now, in hindsight, I probably should have stuck the silver piece down first and the other around it, but eh, you know, it is what it is. It worked fine. So now all I need to do is to literally mount my mirror on the wall. So once again, all I'm going to do is pop some of the glue on the back and stick it down. You could add a little bit more depth at this, uh, you know, at this, well, not at this point, but earlier when we put the stripes on the background, those pieces, you could have put foam underneath it if you wanted to, but I didn't want it to thick, and I'm going to put foam backing on this whole piece. So here I am just applying my greetings, my greeting strips. So I've just got it shorter across the top and I've cut a little angled edge and then it goes right the way across at the bottom. I was very happy with the way that that looked. Okay, so here I've put some double sided foam tape pretty much all over the bottom of this and I am going to stick this onto my card Base. So I found that one of the best ways of doing this to make sure it's even once you've taken all the tape off it is to stand up and to look down on it because when you look down on it it gives you a better perspective and it's easier to make it straight and even. Okay so I got to this point added some flowers up in the corner just to add a little bit more embellishment to it which I thought was a nice little touch so these are just made out of some scraps of vellum. And that was my completed card. What actually happened is when I looked at this the next day, so I finished the filming, nice. But I looked at it the next day and decided, yeah, no, I, I, I'm just not happy with that being on the same colored background. So I'm gonna cut it off. So we talk about this, but I decided that I would show you this time. So all I'm doing here is putting the card in and cutting the card back off. There we go, off the back of this card. Then I'm gonna grab some scissors and literally trim that edging off. Now, I did think about just coloring in that edging, but I was a bit concerned that I would color in bits that I didn't want. Um, so, you know, a darker shade, so I decided to just trim that off. So now we're back to the original piece that we made, except it's a little bit sturdy because it's got some foam in that um, card in the background. And then I'm gonna put it on a black base. Now that to me just sets it off so much better. So I'm just gonna pop some glue on the back of the card and stick it down on a black card base instead of the original rose pink card base. I just felt that this pulled the card together a, a lot better and really made that mirror stand out. Do you know the whole theory of it? A bit more of the black. So just sticking that on, of course now that I have a black card and it doesn't have a white center, I've just cut a little bit of cardstock and popping that white on the inside so I can put a greeting in there. I've actually made this for one of my grandchildren to give to their mother, so one of my daughters will be getting it. And there is the completed card. Thanks for hanging in with me today. I hope you enjoyed this nice and easy Mother's Day card. Of course, you could use this for anything at all. I hope you learned something. Uh, I'd love to see anything that you design over on our Facebook group. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd love you to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye.